let's start the solving part from the practice manual this is the question question number 13 it is in my book it is in the new book in section number b question number one so if you have a different book please find out this sum okay please pause the video if you want and find out this sum so what they have asked in this question is from the following information prepare a summarized balance sheet as at 31st march 2002 so your first basic presentation will be you have to prepare the balance sheet so you will make the balance sheet first and then start the working of the formulas what they have asked so the first thing that you have to make as soon as you see this prepare a summarized balance sheet you should prepare a balance sheet in this format okay so let's read the question they have provided us with working capital of rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand working capital is 2 lakh 40 thousand over here bank overdraft is 40 thousand fixed assets to proprietary ratio the formula for this particular thing will be fixed assets to proprietary funds okay it is 0 0.75 it is given in ratio reserves and surplus is given 1 lakh 60 current ratio is given 2.5 liquid ratio is given 1.5 so let's start so firstly what all they have given to us they have given reserves and surplus so we'll firstly write reserves and surplus over here i hope this is visible reserves and surplus with the amount 1 lakh 60 and what else they have given they have given us with bank overdraft of rupees 40000 we'll write that also bank overdraft how much 40000 they have provided us with that so now let's start with the working i hope you all have the question and keeping the question aside working first will be what they have provided us with working capital working capital of how much two lakh forty thousand so what does working capital comprises of working capital is equal to current assets CA minus CL okay so working uh, next thing we'll write over here is 2 lakh 40 thousand is equal to CA minus CL I hope this is quite clear to you all therefore CA that is the current assets will be equal to 2 lakh 40 thousand plus CL that is current liabilities quite clear we'll keep space over here because we need to calculate something later so better we'll keep a space over here and we'll move on to the next page. we'll see the second thing that they have asked is fixed assets to proprietary ratio is equal to 0.75 therefore fixed assets upon proprietary funds slash owner's fund is equal to 0.75 so therefore fixed assets is equal to 0.75 percent of owner's fund how proprietary funds will go over here so it will become 0.75 percent of owner's fund or proprietary fund so i have written in this format so it is very easy to understand okay so we have done till here and what again they have asked they have provided us with the current ratio so we'll take current ratio over here current ratio 
is equal to 2.5 the formula for current ratio i hope you all remember current assets divided by current liabilities which is equal to 2.5 so we'll just write like this therefore ca is equal to 2.5 of cl cl will go over here then it will become 2.5 cl we'll just substitute this figure 1 over here so we'll write ca is equal to 2 lakh 40 thousand plus cl is equal to 2.5 cl quite clear therefore 2 lakh 40 thousand is equal to 1.5 cl why 1.5 cl because this is 1 cl and when we subtract we get 1.5 cl when we take it over here okay i'm just not showing that calculation and all i'm just directly solving it therefore cl is equal to 2 lakh 40 thousand divided by 1.5 we'll see on the calcium 2 lakh 40 thousand divided by 1.5 is equal to 1 lakh 60 thousand okay so therefore cl is equal to 1 lakh 60 thousand i hope this is visible therefore ca is equal to 2 lakh 40 thousand plus cl which is equal to 2 lakh 40 thousand plus 1 lakh 60 which is equal to 4 lakhs hope this is quite clear first I will show you the entire solving how to solve the sum then you try it solving on your own ok just don't copy it down and especially not in between when I am teaching so we have got CL, CA is equal to 4 lakhs ok we will just not substitute it over here just be patient because they have provided us with liquid ratio also so then want us to calculate something more liquid ratio is equal to 1.5 so if you remember the liquid ratio formula is liquid ratio is equal to current assets minus top okay divided by current liabilities so we'll just substitute the figures over here liquid ratio is equal to 1.5 current assets is equal to 4 lakhs minus top current liabilities is equal to 1 lakh 60 thousand we'll take 1 lakh 60 thousand over here therefore 1.5 into 1 lakh 60 is equal to 4 lakh minus top therefore stock is equal to 1 lakh 60 how come I'll show you one lakh sixty into one point five minus four lakhs is equal to one lakh sixty okay hope this is quite clear to you all so we'll just come over here we'll write firstly stop 1 lakh 60 and the remaining current assets we'll write like this current assets the subhead under that talk and under that cash 2 lakh 40 thousand okay I hope this is quite clear to you all now what is missing over here fixed assets and equity capital okay equity share capital we'll find out that with the help of this we have to find out fixed assets as well as owners fund owners fund is equal to equity plus preference share plus reserves and surplus also okay if you remember so we'll take this down for fixed assets is equal to 0.75% of 
owner's fund. Hope this is quite clear to you all. Fixed assets is equal to 0.75% of the owner's wealth. Now the logic over here, the important logic, we'll see it over here. See, if fixed assets is 0.75 of this both, so therefore current assets, that is, if we if we remove this current asset and this bank overdraft, since bank overdraft is CL and current asset is CA. So if we minus CA minus CL, what we get? We get working capital. Please don't write it in your books. Okay, right now, just understand first. Working capital, which is equal to 2,40,000. So finally, if we see an overview, the balance sheet will be like this. With the help of this format, it will become easier to understand this part. Fixed asset is 0.75 and then net working capital that is 2,40,000 will become 0.25 of what owner's fund owner's fund owner's fund means equity share capital plus preference share plus reserves and surplus so I hope this is quite clear firstly this part is quite clear we are not taking over your CA and CL we are di directly taking the net okay I hope this is clear to you all so therefore Fixed asset is equal to 0.75% of the owner's fund. Therefore, net working capital or simply working capital, you can write net working capital is equal to 0.25 of owner's fund. Okay. So what is important? We need to find owner's fund. We have net working capital that is 2,40,000 is equal to 0.25 owner's fund okay therefore owner's fund is equal to 2,40,000 divided by 0.25 which is equal to 9,60 okay this 9,60 owner's fund 9,60 is equal to equity plus reserves and surplus so we'll write firstly over here 9 lakh 60 and the reserves and surplus is already provided to us of rupees 1 lakh 60 thousand okay therefore equity will be 8 lakhs i hope this is quite clear so we'll just substitute the figures over here 8 lakhs and finally we'll get our fixed asset that, that is 9,60 into 0.75 which is equal to 7,20 we just need to substitute it over here 7,20 and when we total it down it comes to 10 lakh just a second uh, we have skipped one part over here current liabilities okay Current liabilities means this also. Current liabilities. We'll just simply write it over here. Other liabilities. Since the current liability is 1 lakh 60, so other liabilities will be 1 lakh 20. Okay, I hope this is quite clear. We'll total it down. It comes to 11 lakh 20,000. 11 lakh 20,000. So, if you remember how I came to know that I have not written this by seeing this asset side, the asset side was more than the liability side. So, this is the way I came to know that I have not substituted one figure in the balance sheet that I have already calculated. I hope this is quite clear to you all. So, if you want, please pause the video and copy, start copying. I hope you all have copied. Please copy. I hope you all have copied this much.
Please pause the video and copy. This is the most important part and the most difficult part. The students don't understand this specific part. If you see in the practice manual, they have just simply written this fixed asset is equal to 0.75% of owner's fund and therefore net working capital is equal to 0.25% of owner's fund. Many a time students get confused how come net working capital has came over here suddenly. So this is the way how it has came. If you want, you can write. Okay. I hope I have made things little bit clear to you all. So please copy the last part, pause the video and copy the last part. I hope you all have done this much.